name is Masumi Sugeno. I went to Senegal as a JICA volunteer. I would like to talk a little bit about why I joined JICA volunteer. I was born and raised in Nihonmatsu city where JICA training center is located. So I have been, um, uh, I have been familiar with international cooperation since I was a child. <clears throat> and um, because of my interest in medicine, I chose to work in public health and preventive medicine. My work in Senegal involved, involved, uh, um, involved activity to help people prevent diseases according to the needs of the community. My activity have three pillars, <clears throat> teaching hand washing, environmental hygiene, and activity related to improving nutrition. Among them, I came up with a project on uh, activity to improve nutrition. Mal Malnutrition is one of the most serious health problems in Senegal. The, the under five mortality rates and maternal mortality rates are still high in rural, rural area in Senegal. Um, and they are policy to improve health indicator, but they are not working well. To help people suffering from malnutrition. I would like to work with people in my community to create um, sustainable activities. My ideal future vision is that malnutrition will disappear from the community and health indicator will improve. I will also like to contribute to the advancement of women in the community. To achieve this dream, I would like to focus my activities on malnourished children and their mothers, as well as community health volunteer. The reason why I targeted women and children is because they are socially vulnerable. In Senegal, malnutrition, um, malnutrition among children and mothers, especially pregnant women, is a big issue. According to the WHO report, undernutrition is associated with 45% of children, child, ch children's deaths. Malnutrition in pregnant women causes anem anemia. It has negative effects on the mother and the fetus, the, the babies. Um, on the other hand, to make up for the lack of medical human resources, um, trusted women in the community uh, working as community health workers. However, since most of these women, the community health worker, are uh, unpaid volunteers, lack of motivation is a problem. Um, I would like to explain how to, how to lead them. The first step is community health workers. Um, as you can see, the, the, the ideal scenario is like this. First, we train community health workers to become health leader in the community. After that, they will conduct awareness raising activity among mothers in their community to spread knowledge. I will work with the community workers as much as I can but um, after two years, I have to, I have to leave that community. Mm. As a result, malnutrition in the community will, will be reduced and health indicator will be improved, um, which will enhance the reputation of the community health workers. I believe that these women, the, the community health worker be paid for the work they do. The next step is to educate the mothers because I think mother is mothers are key 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 persons because they they prepared 
the meals and they take care of their families. Now, the situation is bad. They may not be able to take proper care of their own child, children, due to lack of knowledge or, or the poverty. First, it is important to conduct regular physical measurements and screen for malnutrition. For mothers who do not come to the medical facility, home visits should be done with community health workers. Then mothers groups should be organized to share the information and um, provide education. This will reduce anxiety and misunderstanding about nutrition. Mothers who have the right knowledge can manage and improve the health of their families and educate their families about health. As they gain knowledge about nutrition, it is expected that their interest in other health issues will increase and it will lead to other hygiene activities. As a result, the state status of women can be can be expected to improve. Um, now, let me tell you how I will provide nutrition education. First, uh, we will evaluate food products and diets in Senegal, and we need to select high nutritional foods that are appropriate for the re region. For this reason, I will use the the nutritional assessment application being developed by JICA and UNICEF. Next, I will develop nutrition education materials with local teacher or local leader, uh, community health worker also. And I, I wanna work with community, community health workers to educate mothers. We also need to consider the low literacy rates and the food culture, food culture in, in local. Finally, in conclusion, I'd like to em emphasize that we need to cooperate and make collaboration with mul multiple fields. The SDG SDGs can be achieved through cooperation among many sectors. I think my projects will contribute to SDGs number two and three and five. I will establish cooperative relationship with JICA, the Senegal government, uh, for example, Ministry of Health or Ministry of Agriculture and other NGOs. You, United Nations also. Um, I would like to share information with each organization and learn from each other to improve our activities. If the significance of our activity is recognized, we will be able to secure a reward of for, for community health worker. We can pay for community health workers. Thank you for listening. Jurjuf. Jurjuf, it means thank you in the Senegal language. I'm Miki Kato, and I was in Tonga to help to improve non-communicable diseases control, such as diabetes or high pressure, as a JICA volunteer. When I was there, I faced another problem, sea pollution, which seemed to be connected to NCDs because a lot of rubbish is made of plastic bags from snacks and sweets. So today, I want to put one idea, garbage collection, collection board plan, forward to preserve the beautiful Tongan Sea. I would like to tell you the reasons for the garbage collection board plan, its purpose, details, and needed cooperation. The main reason for this plan is I was very shocked with this dumping site. Here you can see Difuka in Hapai, where there is no garbage center. 
I know the difficulty of disposing of it in a proper way on each small remote island. Moreover, I don't know which is more ecological, a global a garbage center using a lot of natural resources or a dumping site like this. However, I'm afraid about that the land health itself and the sea pollution which ends up in the sea from the dumping site. Because I love this beautiful Tonga marine life, I really hope to preserve this beautiful ocean. To protect Tonga is the main purpose. It is clearly understood that climate change caused by sea pollution bring sea pollution brings danger for all of the islanders. For example, it causes more cyclone damage and sea level rise, which eventually might cause small islands to disappear. I have two main points to realize of this plan. The first one is to build a system of the garbage collection board. The second one is ecological education. So from here, I will explain about the garbage collection board plan system to dispose of rubbish. First of all, all Tongans, all Tongans can separate the rubbish into different categories. Second, small boats will take the garbage to port to transfer to large ship, which will then take the garbage to the capital garbage center. Having said that, Tongan life basically has a beautiful harmony between being environmentally friendly and ecologically successful. I'm producing a brochure to be distributed worldwide, distributed worldwide showing the richness of Tongan life. I believe that Tonga could be a great SDGs leader in challenging the problem of the sea pollution. As all Tongan people first, we need to be, be, become aware Education is important. Since separating rubbish is a new idea and the Tongan people might not be familiar with the problem of sea pollution, it is necessary to teach both the garbage separation system and the ecological information, not only to ch children, but also adults again and again. And what is important is to have fun. For example, a clean up co competition might be an opportunity to make an impact on children. Sea pollution is one of the biggest worldwide issue today, so we should cooperate worldwide. Reducing the rubbish itself is fundamentally important. Moreover, we might cooperate with how we can manage both sea pollution and economic effects, assisting by funding or skill, skill sharing from developed nations. For example, nowadays, sea garbage is being used as a resources to make sunglasses or clothes or chairs. Finally, moving on the summarize, Everything we do is so that Tongans can preserve the natural beauty of the surrounding area and protect your traditional independent lives. A garbage collection boat plan may help to start to make Tonga more beautiful. We need to, we need to build a system to transfer rubbish to the main island main island garbage center and educate people. However, because the ocean is everywhere, I think that cooperation is necessary in this worldwide struggle. Do you remember my goal? I strongly believe that we can keep, we can keep our ocean beautiful 
together. Maro Alpito, thank you very much. Thank you. And when I was in Mozambique, I made irrigation system with the farmers. And at that time I researched about Japanese irrigation system. And I was so uh, impressed and surprised to the Japanese irrigation system. So I want to share the feeling at the time uh, with you today. So first I want to illustrate the types of uh, rice cultivation. This one is upland cultivation and it doesn't need much water. You can see that this, the soil is drying right now and the texture of rice is a little bit dried. And the second one is upland cultivation. Uh, it needs much water, but Japanese mainly cultivate rice with this, with this cultivation method. And the rice texture is sticky, like Japanese rice. And the third one is deep water cultivation. Look at this person. He, his, only his head part can be seen. Yeah, but it's uh, not familiar. It's not familiar. So uh, I have never seen this method and I have never eaten this rice. This is picture of Japanese paddy field. You can see the canal and you can see the, when we produce rice, we need a lot of water. So Japan is almost equal to rice. The Japanese love rice and Japanese eat rice every day. So uh, our composition is almost rice. Japan produce 2% of the, uh, oh, uh, of the uh, like rice production of all of the world uh, in this tiny, tiny land. So is there many water in Japan? The answer is no. So how can I, ja uh, how can Japan produce such amount of rice? It is true that Japan has a lot of rainfall in a year. You can see that Japan has two times more, word, uh, more rainfall than the world average. But let's think about the average available water. Uh, you, in Japan, there are a big population for the size of the land. So only one third of the average water per person can be used in Japan. So how can I, how can Japan produce rice uh, to, even though there is a lack of water? Let's see the, uh, the Japanese rice uh, ir irrigation system. First, the upper land farmer bring the upper river water to their paddy field by the canal and the water oozes through and joins to the middle river. And the middle placed farmer bring the water to their paddy field and the water was through again and joined to the lower river. You see, Japanese use water many, 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 many times to overcome the lack of water. What the epoch making system is this, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, to realize this system, Japanese made huge amount of canal. Uh, it is about 400,000 kilometers. And this is the same length as one hours, two hours, three hours, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 laps of the hours. Can you imagine the 10 laps of the hours? This is World Heritage uh, Rice Terrace uh, or Tanada in Japanese. It's so beautiful. And I think 
it's a kind of art. You would be surprised at the Japanese deep attachment to the rice. Uh, our ancestors might think like that. We want to eat rice. Absolutely, definitely, no matter what, we need to eat rice, but we don't have enough water. So let's make huge irrigation system. They had plenty guts for the rice. I think Japan is very interesting and very cool, but a little bit crazy country. And I love Japan. <laughs>